I never used to believe in the supernatural. Ghost stories were just that, stories. But what happened to me one night in a small village in North India changed that forever. I was visiting a friend's ancestral home, deep in the countryside. It was beautiful during the day, with lush green fields and clear blue skies, but at night, the place took on an entirely different character. One evening, a few of us decided to go for a walk after dinner. The moon was out, casting an airy glow over the village, and the night was oddly silent, except for the occasional rustle of leaves in the breeze. As we were walking along a narrow dirt path, leading out of the village, we passed by an old, overgrown banyan tree. One of the locals in our group suddenly froze. His face went pale, and he warned us not to go any further. He told us this was a known spot for Chadel sightings. The others laughed it off, but I noticed how serious he was. Now, I'd heard of the Chadel, the vengeful spirit of a woman who had died in agony, often during childbirth or because of some betrayal. She's said to lure men into secluded places, using her beauty to seduce them before showing her true form, twisting her feet backward, a mark of her demonic nature, and sucking the life out of her victims. Of course, I didn't believe a word of it. Until that night. We continued walking, and after a while, I noticed someone standing a little ahead, by the side of the road. It was a woman, dressed in a white sari, her long hair flowing down her back. She seemed out of place, but from a distance, she looked beautiful, almost ethereal. I assumed she was a local out for a late night stroll. One of my friends waved at her, and to our surprise, she started walking toward us. As she got closer, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Her movements were too smooth, almost like she was gliding. And then, she stopped, just a few feet away. I remember her face, so stunning, but there was something unsettling about her eyes. They were dark, empty, like they had no life in them. Before I could react, she smiled, and in that instant, everything changed. The air turned freezing cold. My heart was pounding as I realized what we were seeing. I glanced down, and there they were, her feet. They were twisted backward, just like the stories said. I felt a wave of terror wash over me. The next few seconds were a blur. She let out this low, guttural laugh, and her face. It twisted into something monstrous. Her once beautiful features distorted, and her skin stretched into a hideous grin, revealing sharp, jagged teeth. We ran. Faster than I've ever run in my life. We didn't stop until we reached the village, panting and out of breath. When we told the others, some believed us, while others just shook their heads, saying we'd imagined it. But I know what I saw. That wasn't just some ghost story. The Chadale is real. And if you ever find yourself walking alone at night in those parts of North India, beware of the woman in white. If you see her, don't stop. Don't even look. Just run.